You look like you didn't sleep at all. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. I've been thinking, everyone deserves to know the truth about your Bapa. I should tell them. Bapa has nothing to do with Rose or Shira. And Zara doesn't need to know either. It's just going to upset her. I've lied to Zara her whole life. Why do you really want to tell Zara? Is it to make yourself feel better? Because you feel guilty? I know how it feels to want to make up for your mistakes. But maybe this is how you make up for yours. By protecting your children from the truth. But if I don't tell them, how will they forgive me? No one can forgive you. If you don't forgive yourself first, you know. So I bought this last Friday. Is it nice? It's good. Hey, morning. Morning. I take it your PIs didn't find any dirt on BDTS? Their books are infuriatingly clean. Then what's the problem? There's zero word on their plans for Zalan Takdir. No talk of their redevelopment. Nothing. It's none of our business anyway. It's rightfully theirs. Not all of it. And the rest wouldn't be either if Louis had stopped to read the bloody documents he was signing. And it was awfully convenient that Eunice was on sick leave when the deal went through. No, would it be so bad if you were to sell? You would make a tidy profit. Jalan Takdir is the home of your first solo venture. I'm thinking of moving Lux to a more upmarket area. Maybe Michael can tell me what the board was thinking letting the sale go through. Even if you knew, what difference would it make? Sarah, don't forget that. Yes, I'm accompanying Ibu and Chi Hong later, I know. Thanks for helping out, Zara. Of course. Zara, actually, I have something to tell you. Hmm? You look nice. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ibu. We pay these people good money to be on the board and they can't even do a good job. What was that? Michael Chan, waste of time, that's what. Anyway, did you hear who's investing in everyday soy? Not KSUH. Jacqueline Wong, THE Jacqueline Wong. I wonder if he agreed to be her toy boy or did she agree out of pity? Derek, this is one of Louis' few accomplishments. Yes, it's a miracle. There must be hundreds of other startups begging for our attention. If it's true. Would I make this up? I doubt Lewis can hold Jacqueline's interest for more than a week. Not without our help, he won't. You are right. I shouldn't upset Zara just because I feel guilty. I'm glad you stopped me. I'm just trying to look out for everyone. I can't believe that you are the same person who went to prison all those years ago. Prison was a life-changing experience for me. And you changed for the better. So wise now. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> what makes Jacqueline Wong a better invested in KSU, huh? Mom told you, didn't she? Stop wasting Jacqueline's time. She'll only have a lower opinion of you when you eventually screw up. You can say what you want, Dad. Doesn't change the fact that I'm doing well despite not doing things your way. Look around you, Lewis. This whole mess is your fault because you never listen. And now everyone's suffering because of your screw up. Oi! Stop! You have no customers thanks to this bozo. Bozo. Really, Dad. You know, yelling at Lewis is not going to reverse the sale. What do you want? What is it with you and Jelantek there? The Derek Shelley I know at these prices it would have sold this entire place in a heartbeat. Not everything is about money. <laughs> you are the last person I'd ever expect to hear that from. Well, if you must know, this was the street I grew up in. But your idiotic grandfather gambled away all his assets, including our childhood home. Mm. And I swore that the moment I could afford to, I would buy up the whole of Dalan Takdir and never let go of it again. That was a promise I made to my mother. Mm. Well, like it or not, the sale has happened. 
And no amount of kicking or screaming is going to change that. Oh, so. Where's Elmi? It's so late. He should be here by now. What is the time? Gee, it's only been 10 minutes. I hope she didn't forget. Sarah, um, thanks for doing this. Did you save Chitnadia's number? I sent it to you earlier? Yes. Uh, if anything happens, make sure you call me first. Only call Chitnadia. If you don't pick up, I know, you told me like three times. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my chanty. <laughs> Ala, thank you. <laughs> You like my shirt? Very nice. <laughs> you too. Enjoy yourself. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> Who is she? Uh, Ruslani. Okay, ready? Oh. Where are we going? <laughs> to that therapeutic garden I showed you yesterday. Oh, perfect. I love gardens. Me too. <laughs> 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 I, I, I can walk by myself. You sure you okay? You feel all okay? Yes. Which means I have no more excuses to be close to you. Hey. Morning. Uh, Want to meet for lunch? We still have a lot to discuss. I can't. I'm the only one home with Ibu. Oh, um, put her on then. Let me say hi. Oh, she's asleep. Look, can't we just talk at work? Zarif, I know how packed your schedule is today, but uh, our wedding isn't going to plan itself because... Hello? He's right about Chang Tak there. I really messed up and everyone's gonna leave because of me. So, what are you gonna do about it? This happened, it's done. Look, KSUH buys and sells property all the time. Jalan Tak is different. Okay, it means a lot to Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, he spun you some sob story about this being his childhood home and sticking it to the father who ruined his life. He told you? He's probably lying. There were no residential buildings here even before he bought the place. So this wasn't where he grew up? Are you really surprised? That man lies to us all the time. Then why is he so upset about the sale? I don't know. And I don't care, and I suggest you stop caring as well. Why would he lie about something like this? Maybe he just wants to take it out on you. I can't believe I ate it all up. <laughs> Such an idiot. I wasn't completely honest with you yesterday. I only found out about Papa because his son looked me up. You met our half-brother? I actually spent some time with him. His name is Kadir. What's he like? He's nice. Smart kid. He's also studying to be a doctor. Was that why he wanted to meet you? Actually, he said he's always curious about us. How do you feel about meeting him? I'd rather we stay away from anything to do with Papa. Fair enough. You think Zara would want to? She might. How about the three of us meet him? He is family too. What happened between Ibu and Papa is between them, right? Meeting Kari doesn't have anything to do with them. Ibu won't be happy. She doesn't have to know. All three of us. Meet him. Let's see what he thinks. He gave me his number. How? Is it still itchy? No, but does it still look red? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should go to the hospital? Ibo, he's fine. Now, okay, why don't you two go back to the restaurant and get something to drink? Hmm? Yeah, it's okay. Thanks. Um, so much for the therapeutic garden. What happened to you? I gave you the day off so you could relax. It's those two. You know, for old people, they can move really fast when they want to. And it's so hot, I feel like I'm gonna melt. Okay, let's go get a drink. You can tell me all about it. It's okay, I don't wanna distract you. Look, I'm due for a break anyway. Plus, you're always listening to me grumble. It's time I return you the favor. 
Hello. Kadir, hi. It's Zarif. Zarif? It's really you. Why do you sound so surprised? It's just, I wasn't sure how our meeting went. Actually, I called because there's someone else here with me now. Who? Hi. I'm Zarif Zabang. Zarin. Abang? Yeah, remember? I told you about my siblings. I heard that you wanted to meet the rest of us too. Yeah, but... So, I was thinking, why don't we meet up again? All three of us with you. Um, maybe next time? You don't sound excited to meet us. I'm just busy. School and stuff. You didn't sound so busy yesterday. Kadir, what's wrong? Yesterday, my mom found out that we met and she was really angry. So I don't think we should meet anymore. It was utter chaos. Now on my left, I had Ibu panicking like it was the end of the world. And on my right, Jehomi was so red, scratching himself like a madman. What happened? Now, apparently, he was allergic to one of the plants there. Which plant? I don't know, there's hundreds of different plants in that stupid garden. Wouldn't Jehomi know which plant he's allergic to? Yeah, well, he also has dementia, so... Oh. Yeah, anyway, so you know, I turned around and Ibu was gone. You know, I was this close to bailing and calling Karus. What's important is, is that you stuck it out till the end. Yeah, but luckily Ibu didn't go far. She said she went to look for a first aid kit. And Che Helmi's allergies got better the moment we left the garden. At least they're happy. You know, it's been a while since I've seen Che Adina laugh like that. It's almost like she's a love-struck teenager again. Yeah, a little too much. I suppose the upside to dementia is forgetting some of the good stuff so you can rediscover it again. Sarah? Yeah. Um, speaking of Ibu, uh, I'm going to go check on them. But thanks so much for listening, Lois. Sure. I guess I can see where his mark is coming from. But if Kadi wants to meet us, shouldn't that be his business? He's already an adult. Now take it as a sign that we shouldn't have anything to do with each other. Bapa is a sore subject for all of us. Kadir again? No, just Tamina. You sure you should be doing that? I just need a break from all that marriage talk. <laughs> Not married yet and you're already tired of her. <laughs> Trust me when I say, that is not a good sign. It's not like that, okay? I'm not like you. Riff, relax. I'm just joking. Right, sorry. Just a little on age from the whole wedding thing. No kidding. Jehomi, I think you should go home and rest. You know, what if there's lingering effects from your allergies? But I feel okay. And it's still so early. I don't want to go home yet. I know. You just want to spend more time with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh. We can go to a cafe or a oh. restaurant. <laughs> we already had lunch earlier. Ibu, aren't you tired? No. We didn't do anything at the garden. I still have a lot of energy. Hey? Rose! Rose, can you tell Zara to stop bugging us to go home? Uh, Chi, why don't you and Chi Hume stay here? I'm, I can bring you to something to eat. I'm sure Zara has some other urgent matters she needs to take care of. Thanks, Zara. I'll take it from here. I know you've been avoiding me all day. I've just been really busy. Yeah, surely you can spare me 10 minutes just for a quick chat. Fine. I want to go through the list of people I want to invite. I agree to 10 minutes, not two hours. What's that supposed to mean? Look, can we just talk later? I'm going to go check on my patients. That's it? What? I half expected you to chase after him screaming or something. It's taking all my willpower not to. But I did go behind his back yesterday, so I get why he's not happy with me. I don't need to know what you did. And I'm not telling you. Well, best of luck to the both of you. Give me a heads up before the bombs go off so I can take cover. Hey, you done with your babysitting duties? What happened?
happen? Hey. I'm sorry, it's just... It's okay. Sometimes I also feel like I just want to cry it out, but too bad I can't. Why not? I'm already the wimp of the Shelley family. Can you imagine my dad's face if he saw me crying in public? You have such a weakling, I can't even control my emotions. Don't feel bad. In fact, do me a favor and cry for the both of us. <laughs> so, tell me what's bothering you. Ha, huh. don't think you're off the hook for avoiding me. Can you give me a moment? I'm fresh out of surgery and exhausted. Seriously, I'm done with your excuses. Did you see the dates I sent you? I haven't looked at them yet. Don't lie, the message was marked as red. Look, can't we just have the wedding sooner rather than later? I told you, it's not easy to find a date when everyone I want to invite is free. Then invite fewer people. A wedding is a once-in-a-lifetime event, okay? Don't you get how important this is to me? And what about what's important to me? All I want is to have the wedding before my Ibu's condition deteriorates any further. So what? So your family is more important than mine? Hey, I'm not the one who tried to invite my bapa behind my back. You guys were going to let Khalid grow up without meeting his grandfather just to protect your fragile pride. Khalid is none of your business. Will the both of you shut up? This is none of your business. It is, since you brought Khalid into it. I've narrowed it down to these shop spaces so far. They all look great. So what's the problem? Spot for choice? I'm actually having trouble seeing Adina's in any of them. I guess I can see what you mean. Louis, um, thanks for giving Zara the day off. She and Chia Adina were due for some quality time. Honestly, she can take a few more days off if she wants to. She's pretty far ahead in the work. Have you ever wondered if Zara should really be working for you? What do you mean? In her previous job, Zara managed multiple influencers and projects at once. So, every day on might feel like a step backwards. That's true. Zara's a smart girl, but she has a habit of choosing an easier option instead of pushing her limits. I'll try to find more for her to do. Is that going to be enough? She did say she's considering going back to school. Maybe this is why? Maybe. Whatever she wants to do, she has my full support. That's the other thing. You know that Zara really looks up to you, right? We've been friends for a very long time. Either way, she cares a lot about your opinion of her. So please be careful about what you say and do. Okay. Sure. I get it. I'll definitely do right by her. Great. Can the two of you not bring this to work? But since you have... Amina, stop trying to fix problems that aren't there. Bapa's gone. You can't change that. Your children will never know him and like Khalid, that doesn't mean they won't be loved. And you you're not going to end up like your father. So why are you so afraid of him? The only person who can sabotage your own marriage is you. That's exactly what you're doing now. And you're not even married yet. Amina, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have avoided you. I'm sorry for meddling. It's your family, not mine. Not yet anyways. Can you save the Seppi stuff for after I leave? It's clear we both want different weddings. Let's try to meet in the middle. Yeah. Shall we discuss it over dinner? Over at our usual place? Shira, wait. Thanks for sorting us out. You said exactly what we needed to hear. Don't get used to it. I won't be here the next time you have a lover's spare. Seriously, thank you. 
how do you go from public enemy number one to being someone who really gets us? The same way you went from being suspicious of everything I say to being able to get what I mean. I saw you crying with Louise just now. It's nothing. I've known Louise for a long time. I know what sort of person he is. He's easy to talk to, but sometimes you can misread the situation. So what are you trying to say? That he's lying to make me feel better? Don't get me wrong. Louise means well and he cares deeply for his friends. Whatever you think is going on, it's not that, okay? Sarah, I've been in your shoes before. All I'm saying is remember to keep your feet grounded and not to get carried away with him. I'm not a child. Stop acting like you know what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking. Do you yourself even know how you feel? I know myself better than anyone. So I don't need your help and I don't need your pity. I just don't want you to get yourself hurt again. I can take care of myself. Zara, can what? you just leave me alone? Please. It's missing and... Don't you dare say it. ...everyday soyness. <sighs> oh, forget it, we're going nowhere. Okay, wait. Why don't we ask your investor for help? Jacqueline Wong? I'm not gonna bother her with something like this. I mean, hasn't she kickstarted like 50 over small businesses? She must have some advice. This is such a small issue. I don't want to give her the impression that we don't know what we're doing. You're allowed to ask your investor for help, Louis. Now, I'm sure they also want to know that we're not wasting their money. 